disgruntledduck.com. So next up on a workbench, I'm going to have a crack at this uh, Macava, the Tamiya model. There's not a ton of parts here, but what is here looks quite detailed. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it should be quite a quick build, but then quite a lot of weathering at the back end. So I'm going to make a crack on this now. First little stage complete. As expected, nice and easy, no problems at all. It's come together really well, really cleanly. So move on to the bottom of the hole now. So that's phase two done. Uh, most of the underneath of the hole, the hooks and everything. I'm not going to put on the idlers just now I'll into those two little bits because I want to paint them up before they go on. But apart from that, everything else has gone on really nicely. So let that dry up and uh, move on to the next stage. So that's about all that I can do on the hole for the moment. Uh, suspension's stuck on. Suspension was the only part that had a bit of flash on that we had to worry about. Uh, made a little mistake there. So I've got a bit of uh, runoff with the glue on the back there. A lot of it's dried off, so I've given a quick sand, re the line there. Uh, just at the bottom there you can see it's not completely cured yet, the plastic. So I'm going to let that uh, cure overnight and then re that out. But yeah, that's not been too bad a build at all. In the meantime, I'm just going to get working on the wheels, give them a little sand down uh, before I get them undercoated and then we can do a bit of the top of the hole right, so at the minute i'm sticking the turret together this is the first bit where it hasn't been such a perfect fit now if you can see you know there's a little gap just there there's a little gap at the front as well a couple of little gaps are going to need to be filled so i'm just holding it in place with some tape while that sets off and i'm going to fill these gaps in around the edge so i've moved on a bit this guy's going to focus in a bit um right so i've moved on i've got most of the upper hole is completely done now it's actually looking quite nice. Now I've done the headlights set up, just think for a, a little bit more detail. Um, the only thing I haven't fitted yet is the little cannon support. I'm thinking on this guy, because the cannon's fixed in position, I think I'm going to do it using the cannon support so the cannon's up. Um, so that's that. Turret's glued. I've filled in a couple little gaps, I've sanded down the seam lines along the back there. You can seal that. No, it's not going to focus. Um, oh, there, that's better. You can see I've sanded down the seam lines. I've put a little bit of extra thin over the back of that. So I'm going to let that cure overnight, and then do a little bit more sanding to clean that up. Get a nice, smooth little edge. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave that now, come back to that another day. Um, and yeah, that's it for the moment. Right, the turret has dried up nicely. So as you can see, we've sanded down all that little seam line so it's looking pretty good time to apply all the bits and bobs on top it shouldn't take too long and then we can go on to some undercoat right so it says i need to cut out some mesh so that i can fit it on the bottom of this uh, support bit so what i've done instead is i've cut the support bit as you can see i've super glued the bottom so i'm going to stick that onto the mesh And hopefully, let that set up, seems to be set pretty quickly. Then we have to trim it from the other side and get a nice clean finish. So let's give that a try. So about halfway through putting the smaller detailed parts on the turret. And yeah, it's really starting to liven up. It's really looking good. I'm really quite happy with how it's going. There might just be a tiny little bit of filling in a couple of little places. But apart from that, this build is going pretty smoothly so that's set up quite nicely that's stuck really well it looks quite neat so I'm just going to run that round with a scalpel and I should have a really nice little base there so there we go trimmed up really nicely looks absolutely awesome so now we can uh, yeah, uh, fit that together that storage rack and then fit it to the turret so I'm pretty happy with that so that's about it build wise really um, yeah it's focusing now stuck on the gun We've done the rest of the details here. There was tons of stuff on there. Um, it's actually looking really nice. Right, what else have I done? I finished off the storage rack at the back. I filled in the little gaps where there was a little bit of a, well, a little bit of a gap really. That's gone on really nicely. Pretty snug. Um, I've got these little bits left to paint before I uh, stick them onto the main body. After the body's painted, 
we've got our wheels we need to do but yeah that's uh, that's been a really nice build I've got the tow cable I'm having to use the plastic one for this one because it's quite a unique sort of shape but yeah I'm pretty happy with that one it's been a pretty painless build to be honest so we're going to get this get this painted up and then uh, take it from there so I'm mixing because I'm doing this McCarver one the paint for that guy now um, it's looking ready for the paint so I've mixed up because I think it was a little bit darker um, the desert yellow they used on this guy so I've started with the XF88 I've dashed in a bit of khaki XF49 little dash of XF63 German grey because it was definitely like a grey sand colour but a little bit of white I'm going to add a little bit more white now um, but that's the kind of colour I actually want to get to so I want to add a little bit more white now uh, when I spray because it's going to come out a bit darker after the varnish right so it's just a little look at the test of that colour so I'm building the Abrams as well um, and that's how the Abrams is looking so all right, that's the regular desert yellow that I'm using for the uh, Abrams. That's got the white on where I've sun bleached the panels. And then that's the Macabre. So if you Macabre, Macabre, if you see them side by side, it's distinctly different. Um, I think, I don't know if I've got too much green in there at the minute. I definitely like the colour. But I'm thinking once we get a wash on, I might do a, an all over filter on this just to bring out a little bit of depth in it. But I think that's alright to begin with. So I just wanted to quickly show you, using this stencil, that's how the wheels come out. Um, takes a little bit of practice, a couple of them got a little bit of overspray. But that's, you know what I mean, that saves so much time. And I think this thing cost me like two quid. So uh, yeah, that's really a helpful little thing. So next up, I just want to paint all this stuff with a metallic grey, then weather the tracks out a bit with a bit of dry brushing. Um, same with this stuff and get ready for sticking everything onto the body. So right, next, I've got these, uh, these are drying and ready for a bit more painting. So I'm now going to paint in the detail bits. I've started on this one, which is a buff colour. So for that, I've used the Tamiya paint. Um, I've hand painted it. I'm not mad keen on hand painting with Tamiya paint. It can be a bit tricky and you've got to get the right mix for them to go on nicely. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, I need to paint in the end sections of these, uh, the mud guards here. They need to be painted black so I can mask them off and paint them, but I want to brush paint simply because I'm going to do a lot of brush paint in a minute, which are quite small bits. Like in here, I've got the lights to do on the back as well so I just want to get my hand in with the brush painting um, I've got a little bit of black made up I, use a, I prefer to use like Vallejo colours or something or I've got these army war painter colours so I use a lot of them but I don't have an olive drab so I'm going to have to use a Tamiya for that but in the meantime I'm going to get on with the, the Vallejo I've got my trusty little Tamiya brush so I'm going to uh, have a crack on with that so it's taken a, a wee while but I've got all my little detailed parts painted in. Starting to look, uh, starting to look pretty good. I did smear a bit of paint there, but I can live with that. And there's a tiny, tiny bits to touch up afterwards. But I think once it's varnished and weathered, it's going to be fine. So in the meantime, I've weathered my tow cable a little bit. Uh, I've got my trusty Zippo, so I'm going to warm this gently so they can bend around the back of this cage and uh, stick all the little bits on and then time for some varnish I think all right, as you can see straight away the tow cable has not gone too well at all um, in fact look you can see there it's snapped I've tried to bend it heat it and bend it um, so yeah back to drawing board on this one and I can with the model maybe I'm going to fix this later on or maybe I won't so a couple of more bits to do. I've got to paint the centre of these wheels, the little red dots. Um, also, back on the tow cable. So what I've done is I've sanded down to make a make a gap on those. I've done that to all the pieces. Flip them over quickly. You can see, and I've also made myself up 
some tow cable ropes. I've got some string. I've got some different thicknesses of string. Even this one was too too thick, so I've unwound it and I've wrapped uh, three pieces together to make the thickness I want. Um, I've, I've run over just a little bit of varnish just to stiffen it and to keep it together. So I'm going to cut these to size, measure them all up, and then get these painted, and uh, yeah, start trying to make this this uh, this new tow rope. So there we go. I'm quite happy with that. So we just um, uh, some of that string, a little bit of masking tape and some super glue. I've rebuilt that tow cable. I'm really tough with that. I did um, did glue my fingers together at one point, so that was a bit of a pain in the backside. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to give it a quick undercoat with some um, rattle can black, and then get on to painting that one and finishing this guy off. So right, there's my finished tow cable. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Looks pretty uh, pretty good, all things considered. So yeah, now just fit this on, varnish, and uh, yeah, get some get some weathering done. So there we go. Now that's about it. Um, that's the building done, and the painting. I finished. Well, I've just got to fit the side skirts now, but tow ropes fitted. That's on. Uh, everything's pretty much done now. So I'm just going to fit these side skirts, varnish it, get the uh, get the decals on. And then we can crack on with that last little bit of weathering. But yeah, that's looking. So I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that we've got those couple of marks. I don't know how well you can see them now. Yeah, you can still see it a little bit. Um, we're going to have to lose that in the weathering. It's not a massive issue, but it was, it was such a clean build. And then that just that right at the end it was a bit of a pain. But uh, never mind. Some varnish now and decals. So this has happened. As you can see, I've got a couple of spillages. I spilled a little bit of glue when I was applying that uh, side skirt. So I've sanded it back. I'm going to give it a quick, I've still got some of that um, paint mixed up, so I'm going to give it a quick spray and hope. So I wasn't really happy with how that had come out, um, those couple of spots. So I've gone over them again, sand them down a bit more, and I'm going to re spray because I was literally lying here in bed last night thinking about it. So uh, that's some first word problems for you. And yeah, I wouldn't have been happy with it, so I'm going to go over it, I'm going to make them right now. So yeah, sanded them down, nice and smooth, so I'm going to go over, give it a couple of coats, and uh, hopefully get back to where we were. Right, so there we go, look. That's after sanding it down again. Um, it's, it's perfect, I'd say. I mean, you can see a little bit of colour differentiation, but that's purely because the paint's still fresh, and it has already had a coat of one uh, thin coat of gloss varnish, so once that's varnished, that's going to merge right in with the others. Um, you know, that is only just down to my own hubris thinking that it would have been fine, but uh, I wasn't happy with it. And what's the point in carrying on if you're not happy? So, yeah, that's uh, that's all right now. So this has come out looking really quite nice. It's been another great build. Uh, all I want to do now is just a little bit of light pigment play. See where I can get this looking. And uh, stick those areas on aerials on and I think this one is also going to be done very soon so I've gone over with all of uh, all those pigments it looks all right I'm quite happy with this I'm gonna stick these areas on now and uh, yeah this one we're gonna call done as well happy days don't forget to hit the subscribe button give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment